Okay, so the question now will be, is the process currently carried out? By whom? When? How frequently? With what performance? And how well compared with competitors? So, mo na imong next step nga tanawon, no? So, pangutangan mo ang imong kaugalingon, <laughs> the, the organization, no? Pangutangan mo is the process currently carried out? So, you have identified the core processes. Now, na na lista ni mo diha. Ni, kani, the process. Di na lagi sa mo highlight o gikapon. Nagbago na talaga ang ano. Asara ah, na to. Nagbago na talaga ang uh, extra quarter. Hindi ko na siya type. So, lista ni mo din hi sa process. Anay, ginao ko. So, you now have identified core processes in order to uh, achieve your CSF. So, butang po mo din he. Ay mo mga CSF by numbers. So, nagkakaroon. Um, this particular, number one, butang ka dia, core process that has impact on CSF. What number? What CSF man si Janga na ay most impact. So, butang mo dia. Si SF1 ba? 2, 3, 4, 5? So, ingan ang imong process, ang imong process na buhaton. No? no. Butang po mo number of si impact. And then, of course, you have to rank. No? At the end. Imo nang i-ranking. So, but, the question is, imo sang potan o na imong kagulingon. Is the process currently carried out? Okay, basic na yung mga process na ang imong galista that are necessary for the achievement of CSF, achievement of your mission, achievement of your desired um, path or desired result sa organization, pero what the I na implement? Mabitaw ng importansya sa paglista-lista, no? Sa pag-breakdown from mission to CSF, KPIs to process. Nga naman, there are instances nga na ay mong nalista diha but it is not implemented because what na identified na important core process na isa. Or, remember ha, when we say core process, it entails action. The final action, what you're going to do to achieve your mission or your desired um, result sa organization. So, possibly, mauna, sometimes um, organizations that do not go through this long and tires uh, tarsang process, dili nila ma-identify, mangunta na sila, anong man siya gahapon, di man siya ingani ka-successful ko as an organization. So, maybe, they were not able to identify processes, core processes, that would really, you no know, achieve the mission, that gives them the direction to achieve the mission, or the, the desired um, result of the organization. So, mo na importa, mo na importansya po sa pag-breakdown, breakdown. Hindi ra kay mo tanaw. Mission mo ni mission ho, ah, madara ni ingani uno ho ang murag mo ambak ka ba mo diretso from mission a ah, action diretso mo ano ni. Ki no, sayon pag-identify sa action, no? Sayon kami aw oh, para makuha ni nga mission ing ani hong buhaton. But the thing is um you were not able to identify the uh, CSF and the KPIs which are really necessary to entail nga walay gap no diba mo na atong uh, gi-emphasize ganina nga dapat walay gap gap from the desired no uh, koan sa mga organization and the day-to-day -day activities now the core process entails na the day-to-day -day activities no the 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 planning of the day-to-day -day activities. So, kung wa ni mo nakita ang KPIs and CSF, nga mo ay mong ilhanan nga, oh, I'm on my way to, or I'm on the right track. So, possibly si Jang, nga mo nang, na-miss ni mo ang opportunity, no, to achieve your mission and to make sure that there is no gap on the desired um, situation of the organization and the day-to-day -day activities. No? Answering this questions, no? Katong is it carried out? By whom? Kinsa man? Kasi nag-carried out ani nga mga core process. Pasig mali nga tao ang imong nahatagan sa 
uh, pag-carry out sa core process. Basag ang imong hatagan sa mga tao, uh, ang imong hatagan ng mga tao sa core process number one is less skilled. What's luck are your skills compared to uh, other employees? Just because out of uh, ano ra ang imong decision making, arbitrary. Ah, ganahan kung si Jamie perform kay, I like him. Uh, he's loyal to me. Blah, blah, blah. But skilled wise, well, they say enough capacity to carry out this particular core process. Kanus apod siya. Gi-implement or gi-trabaho. Basig o kuwang ang pagtrabaho or wa na mao, not on the right time ang pagtrabaho sa core process. Nagiingog, right love at the wrong time. No? When? How frequent? Kapila or ka, frequent? Sabi sa frequent. Basta kay frequent. No? Kay basin o uh, gaping rasyag maayo nga pag-implement sa core process. That's why the mission is not totally achieve no with what performance and how well compared to competitors so you are now talking about the performance and comparison to your competitors which is necessary man because you're trying to have this competitive advantage again diba going back to distinct comparative advantage you need to compare your performance with your competitors kay basin og pareha mo again di is a distinct kay pareha man you should be one step ahead of your competitors so kung abdi ka mo yung competitors mas abdi ka dapat so answering uh, all these questions will force process ownership into the business. The process sponsor may form a process team, no, which takes quality and performance improvement into the next step. Now, some form of prioritization um, using process performance measures is necessary at this stage to enable effort to be focused on the key areas for improvement. So, diri na masod ang imong form of priority session. Unsay imong i-prioritize, no? In order for this process um core processes, no? To be focused on the key areas for improvement. This may be carried out by a form of impact matrix analysis. So, na napuntay lang yung analysis na himuun. So, mo ni si Ja. Kani. Mo ni actually. Kani. So, if you're going to list all your process, the CSF number, the number of CSF impacts, and the ranking, what is your result? The outcome should be a set of most critical process or the mcps most critical process yes from mission to csf kpi score process and most critical so daghan makakaajog core process meaning to say daghan kakaajog activities so, how are we going to make sure that all these activities, di man pwede, dungano na ni mo og trabaho, right? There should always be your priority. What um, activity needs priority? So, that is why you need to list all of them and rank them in order to come up with the most critical process meaning to say ang pinaka kinahanglan nimong unahon now mcps which receive priority attention for improvement based on the number of csf impacted by each process and its performance on a scale a to e kaning sa ranking this high level picture as to how the business is wired up provides a valuable forum for informed debate about 
where and how value is designed, created, delivered, and communicated. So, dili ka sa core process mo, stop. Ladies and gentlemen, kayo gi mo ng buhaton tanang gilista ni mong process, butang natog naka-identify kag 20 ka buo core processes in order to achieve the KPI CSF in the mission. Gusto na ni mo. So, magkinahanglan kag 20 ka buok mo trabaho, it takes a lot of resources, a lot of time, a lot of skilled worker. So, mo na ang imong buhaton karon is to rank them. Rank all of the process into MCPs or most critical process. By identifying the MCP, kabaw nakakaroon, which among the set of core process that should receive priority of attention for improvement. So, yun nga na siya. Imo bang isimplify kay basin sa imong core process nga, na, nga na-identify na adihay pwede di pabuhaton. So, are, why are you going to uh, spend no resources and time on that particular process nga di man siya maka-affect sa success sa business? So, mo na'y purpose, no? Why do you have to identify MCPs? Okay, more bag. Um, resources in an organizations are budgeted by uh, especially financial, skilled workers. So, gibudget na dapat mo na ng proper allocation of resources. So, karon kung naakay na identify ng core process that actually um, dili is the murag sagabal kaadyo, no? Murag, um, mo succeed uh, gihapon ang organization in the achievement of the mission, kung di siya kaninga core process, di ka siya matagaan o attention. So, why are you going to waste your resources on that particular pro- core process kung pwede nga ari ni mo sa usaka core process that needs immediate attention para ma-achieve ni mo ang imong desired result. So, yung ano mo na purpose, why do you need to identify the most critical process or the MCPs? Okay? So, mo ang imong buhaton nga uh, matrix. Okay? So, from mission to MCPs or core process that needs critical or priority of attention. So, imo nang from big, na, na picture ninyo nga in an inverted triangle nga from um, super um, sa itawag anang submission statement kanang just um, broad statement of your mission to pinaka critical nga core process that needs immediate attention or priority. So, grabe nga process ang imong giagian. That is step 4. Let's go to step 5. Pagadjud ay na human, ma'am. Kaya na po may step 5. Wak pa. Okay. Step 5 is Break down the core process into sub-process, activities, and tasks, and form improvement teams around this. Now, you have in your hand the most critical process which needs utmost attention and improvement. Identify na ni mo. Unsip sunod ni mga buhaton. What do you do next? Ah, you guess it wrong. Di pa ka mo proceed with the implementation, girl. Instead, once an organization has defined and mapped out the high-level core process or the most critical process, people need to understand what activities are required within these core processes and how they combine at operation level. So, from action to activities and tasks. 
Now, this top-down approach is needed now to ensure that the day-to-day -day activities of the organizations are aligned with what is critical to achieving strategy success. If proper, uh, if properly executed, now this will develop the skills needed to understand how the process structure will be analyzed and made to work. Now, it should then be possible to develop metrics for measuring the performance of the process, sub-process, activities, and the task. <clears throat> so, naana po tayo ing ani. Okay. So, shown here is the breakdown of the core process into sub-process, activities, and tasks. No? Now, the very existence of new process teams with new goals and responsibilities will force the organization into a learning phase. Now, this uh, will then provide the basis for change and attitudes and behaviors necessary to meet the strategic goals. The task should be performed clearly by individuals if you want to see the result. Once tasks are wrongly performed, it will have an impact on the core process. So, diha pa lang makita na ni mo ang domino effect. No? So, from core process to sub-processes, kayo na-identify na ni mo from core process, na-identify ni mo ang most critical, no? Uh, most critical um, so to, process uh, that which needs attention now from there you need to break it down into activities and task now so from top down approach and the result of course is <clears throat> empowered people or individuals <coughs> excuse me Excuse our kids. Okay, so nasabtan, no? So, how um, task activities could actually um, have an effect now to the entire organization. So, I think in our um, virtual katung klase na to, there is somebody there na nagisgot about domino effect, no? Um, since total quality management is organization wise dili ra um one or two units in the organization but everyone should be involved now that is the risk also no kay if one unit of the organization fail to understand no the mission the cs how to turn mission into csf and from csf to kpis from kpis to core processes to from core process to mcps from mcps to activities and tasks what will happen no so dili nila ma internalize to mo na magkuanra kanang it can lead to gap no in between the desired no um desired uh situation or or desired result of the organization and their day-to-day -day activities for example somebody has to sit down and draft out the first version of a similar leaflet so butang natog na ay naghimo og draft sa li draft sa leaflet para sa seminar. Now, there has to be an understanding by the individual who will perform the task and its position in the hierarchy of the process. Kay basin wala siya kabalo para unsa na iyahang gitrabaho. Basta laman kay mo trabaho siya. No? Narabadji ingan na. Kanamang less bitaw ang comprehension kung para unsa nang gitrabaho. Who are the recipients? of your work no so once the initial task has been performed the result must be checked no against the activity of the coordinating promotional booklet so kung nahumana for example katong naghimog leaflet so nahuman sa leaflet so dapat 
paghimo pa lamang sa leaflet, kaibaw siya, unsa isang trabaho para kang kinsa ang trabaho, I mean, para kang kinsa ang isang git trabaho nga leaflet, kay para kaibaw siya, unsa ibutang dito sa leaflet, kaibaw siya, unsa ibutang nga leaflet, unsa uh, ibutang uh, information sa leaflet, is not for that particular seminar. So, ikaw man niya, of course, the, uh, it should be checked, no? It should be checked by those that are, um, or katong na responsibility over the, like, for example, sa promotional booklet, can say, na ay responsibility ana, can say, in charge ni ana, so mo check, no? For, uh, for the purpose of total quality management. Now, this clearly brings in the team, no? Of course, ma-bring in the team, kay they have to work, no? Um, every uh, unit has to work, man. Um, and there must be interfaces between the needs of the task, the individuals who perform them, and the team concerned with the activities. So, mo na yung beauty sa total quality management because the result no kung ang usaka service or product go through the process of total quality management we are assured no consumers are assured that the product no are really a product of or the goods or services are really a product of thorough quality assurance dili ra by one department min kakarog a ah, ang ko anay bahala quality assurance so itan aw ni mo karon sila ra bahala unja kay baw ka na uh, other uh, department or other uh, concern teams in your organization might have kanang sana na ikatampo para ma-improve ang product no or service para inigabot sa consumer oh, total satisfaction is guaranteed so mo na siya ang beauty of total quality management although it entails a lot of processes kanang mga gitawag na tuog um singan so ana kanang every bit of a process Marabag, kung imo ko na ko na on, hassle, no? Kanang marabag, tiring kayo siya. But, of course, if you aim for total quality, uh, it also entails a lot of activities. Okay? Okay. So, ni Anata sa...